Hi there. Welcome back to Spoon Feed. Today I'm going to show you how to make a dish that's creamy, dreamy and also oh satisfying mushroom chicken. It's like a warm hug for your taste buds. We're going to make a chicken and mushroom masterpiece that will have you licking your plate clean. First things first, we're going to start by slicing up 150 grams of baby bella mushrooms. I like to slice them thin, but if you're feeling bold, go ahead and slice them thick. It's your world. Once we've got those mushrooms all sliced up, let's move on to the chicken. I'm going to butterfly my chicken breast in two halves by pressing the chicken flat onto the cutting board and slicing it right across the middle, holding the knife horizontal. Chicken breast is notorious for getting overcooked, and splitting them in two helps get an even sear across and ensures it cooks more evenly. But if you're feeling lazy, you can leave them whole. Just don't blame me if they end up overcooked and dry. I like to use one teaspoon of oil in order to help the seasoning stick to the meat. I'm now going to season the chicken with some salt and pepper. Next, I'm going to add the leaves of a couple of sprigs of thyme and give it a quick toss with my hands. Feel free to go in with a spoon yourself if you don't like using your hands. Next, I have four cloves of garlic which I'm going to peel first by crushing the garlic slightly with the back of my knife. I find this the easiest way to peel garlic. The skin comes right off. I'm going to slice my garlic cloves quickly before giving it a fine chop till it ends up in fine little bits. We want this almost to come to a puree. Time to cook. In a deep bottom pan, I have added 1 tablespoon of olive oil and 1 tablespoon of butter on medium to high heat. The olive oil would prevent the butter from burning. Once my oil has come up to temperature, let's place our chicken breast in the pan and sear it for about 2 and a half to 3 minutes. Chicken breast cook quickly and I would recommend keeping an eye on it constantly while it cooks. Once we have formed a nice crust on one side of the chicken, let's flip it to the other side. If the chicken doesn't have that brown sear, do not flip it. Let it continue to sear till you have developed this color. After about 2 to 3 minutes more, once the other side of my chicken has developed that beautiful sear, I'm going to take it out of the pan and rest it in a plate. You can see some nice fawn being developed on the bottom. That is those brown bits stuck to the pan which are going to add a tremendous amount of flavor to our sauce. And to make our sauce, to the same pan I have added about 1 tablespoon of butter and we're going to allow this to melt before we add our garlic. Give your garlic a quick saute to enable it to release its flavor. Once our garlic is sauteed and is fragrant, I'm going to add our mushrooms to the pan and saute them for the minute before sprinkling some salt and pepper to help the mushrooms release some of that water and also to help season them. Continue sauteing the mushrooms till they've released all of their water and it evaporates. This can take roughly 7 to 10 minutes and will need you to be patient. The end results are worth it. Once my mushrooms are cooked up to this point, I'm going to add 1 cup of chicken stock. 3 quarters of a cup of cream to the pan and cook it along with the mushrooms. We want this to reduce by at least half. Additionally, you can add a shot of cognac here if you feel fancy. After a few minutes, once my cream and stock is reduced by half, I'm going to reintroduce my chicken back into the pan and cook it till it's reached about 265 degrees Fahrenheit, which is the temperature we should always cook chicken to. Spoon some of the sauce over the chicken during this process. This will help the chicken absorb all of that creamy goodness as it continues to cook.
When the chicken is fully cooked, we'll finish it off with some fresh parsley for the pop of color and flavor. Give this a final mix to incorporate all the flavors and the herbs together. And we're done. To serve, we'll plate up our chicken and smother it in that luscious mushroom sauce. It's the kind of dish that will have you reaching for seconds or thirds or fourths, I won't judge. This ended up being creamy, hearty and delicious and was perfect for dinner after a long day of work. I like to have these with some mashed potatoes but gotta watch out for those carbs. So I ended up having as is which ended up still being quite satisfying to my soul and taste buds. So go ahead and give this recipe a try, your taste buds will thank you. And there you have it folks, perfect creamy mushroom chicken. Thank you for watching and don't forget to like, share and subscribe.